Welcome everybody, Gray's here, and today I actually want to get into my 2019 top picks for games that I want to get and I want to play absolutely for sure. These are games I am going to get at some point. I may not get them on release day, but I may, well I am, I will get them at some point because I think these are going to be really killer games and I definitely would recommend them. Uh, well, at least I do at this point because I know I don't have any hands-on time with most of them. All right, let's go ahead and start off here uh, with Doom Eternal, man. I don't know if you guys played the original Doom. Well, when I say original Doom, I'm, I, I don't want to go that far back. But the Doom on the Xbox One, uh, that was actually an incredible game of Doom. I loved it, went through that. Uh, great story, great gameplay, and it just seems to have gotten better in Doom Eternal. And I'm really kind of looking forward to really getting my hands into that one and playing that. And it just looks like it is going to be a fun, fun game. So that is on my list as number five. And these are in no typical order, no any specific. I, I just kind of threw them on here. And it's kind of going to be alphabetical, <laughs> more or less. All right. Number four is going to be Final Fantasy X. I don't know if you guys played this one back in the day. Uh, I loved this game. This was a fantastic Final Fantasy game. And if I recall, I could be wrong, but I think this is the last time, the last game that they had a, um, what is that, um, yeah, active time battle, but it was a little different. It was like a sequence time battle. And I love that about the old Final Fantasy games, the new action battle. I don't care for. Uh, I have not picked up a game since. I tried, uh, I think it was 12, 12 or 13, or maybe it might have been 11. I'm not sure, but it's like they went into the action battle sequence, and, and I just haven't liked it since, uh, which really sucks. But uh, this game here was definitely a pinnacle, and I loved it, and it's coming to the Xbox One, I think, in April. So I will definitely be checking that one out. Um, I can't wait to see it in 4K graphics. Uh, this is the first game that had full voice acting uh, for Final Fantasy, and uh, definitely a really good game. And this is the only game, this is the only game that I actually had my wife. She said to me, go play your game. I want to see you play your game, uh, because she wanted to know the story, and that was just really incredible to me. Uh, she hasn't done it since, <laughs> which is kind of a shame. I kind of wish she would at some point. But uh, nope, nope, that's the only game she ever told me that I needed to go play because she wanted to find out what happened next. So that is awesome. All right, uh, my next game here is going to be Gears 5. I don't know if you guys, well, I know you guys have played Gears or heard of Gears at some point because Gears is an incredible game. Uh, I love the story so far, and... Uh, Halo, I'm sorry, Halo 4, <laughs> Gears 4, uh, the story wasn't as good, I think, as the original two games, I think, uh, the Gears 3 was actually pretty decent, Gears Judgment was a little weird, uh, but still a great game, the gameplay is still very, very solid, love the gameplay, and my favorite mode, my favorite mode, was Horde Mode, and I absolutely love that, and I would love to see that return in Halo, which was called Firefight. I mean, a real firefight where you survive. You, you go for the survival aspect of it, not just the arcade aspect of it. That is something I'm really hoping to see again uh, in Gears 5. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, really good, even upgrading the Gears 4 firefight. Firefight. <laughs> Gears 4 horde mode. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm really looking forward to that anyways because that was the best getting online with uh, four friends and just trying to survive getting to that wave 50 and trust me trust me it got hard it was extremely hard but it was extremely fun at the same time something you could play over and over and over again and try new strategies and uh, just to see what you could get or how far you could get that was just so fun uh, the only other equivalent to that it was by my standards was Halo 3 ODST Firefight. 
Um, really good games, both of them. But Gears 5 definitely is uh, my number three pick. Now on to, uh, this is actually going to be a honorable mention. I'm going to just say this, as I don't think we're going to see any actual game release of Halo Infinite. But I want to say honorable mention here in 2019, because I think at some point in 29, probably E3 this year, uh, they're going to announce the flighting or the beta flighting or whatever they want to call it, uh, just like MCC. And I think we're going to probably see it in late November, early December. And we might actually get some game time with Halo Infinite. Now that would be amazing and that would be incredibly fun. At least I hope it will be incredibly fun to see what they're going to do with that classic art style. And possibly what they're going to remove, what they're going to add. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this. I don't know if we're going to see it in 2019. Uh, I mean gameplay get it in our hands type of plane but uh i'm gonna throw it out there an honorable mention to halo infinite kind of hoping i'm gonna get uh, get some hands on time uh with that but we'll see we'll see we'll probably know much more in uh e3 all right on to my next one and that is going to be the division two oh man if you guys haven't played the original division it came out a little um i'm not gonna say uh, unfinished or anything it was a good game in when it was launched however i think as it progressed the uh, game got so much better and it's so much more fun and it looks like to me everything i've seen so far is they're just expanding on what's already there which i'm really looking forward to they're adding raids i think eight person raids uh to see who can beat them first uh it won't be me i just don't have that type of time I wish I did, but I just don't. Uh, so that is definitely something I am really looking forward to uh, doing in this next year. It's actually coming out in two months. The beta starts on February 7th. If you haven't pre-ordered, uh, you should probably do that. If you haven't, uh, uh, if you do pre-order, sorry, excuse me, uh, you get the uh, pre-order beta, and it's going to be really kind of cool to see and get some game time with it. Even the PvP, which I was not a fan of the original, uh, it just got too overwhelming when I go into the dark zone or wherever else, and I just get absolutely slaughtered because I tend to roll solo most of the time. Uh, hopefully, to get a nice little crew going on Division Two, and uh, that way I can go into the dark zone a little bit more prepared with a group. That would be kind of nice. But the PvP is going to be actually seems to be a lot better because it's going to normalize the settings uh, for across the board for most PvP zones. However, there is an occupation zone, which for those hardcore Division Two players uh, will be what your stats are or what your gear is. It absolutely matters. The better gear you got, the better you're going to do. So there is that aspect to it, but. A lot of the other stuff is a little bit more introductory, a little more bringing you into the zone, uh, which would be kind of cool to see. So I'm really kind of looking forward to that. So Division 2, absolutely awesome. Recommend it. Can't wait to get my hands on it in 2019. All right, this next one is, <laughs> as you can tell, this is going to be uh, another honorable mention uh, for this year, and that is Halo Reach. I know we have heard absolutely nothing other than they know that we want it in MCC. We have heard absolutely nothing about Halo Reach. But I'm throwing this down here because I'm really kind of hoping that at E3 they're going to say, hey, Halo Reach is coming in 2019, uh, maybe November or whatever it's going to be uh, for uh, MCC. How amazing would that be? Oh, my goodness. Uh, it might be a purchase, it might not be, but even if it was a purchase, I would definitely shell out the cash for Halo Reach. Man, I would love to play some Halo Reach in MCC, that 4K goodness, and then of course the 60 FPS, get rid of that, that jitter, the 30 FPS, man, you, it's, it's so bad. Once you're 60 FPS and you go back, it's just, oh, you just cringe just a little bit. Well, to play Reach on dedicated servers, and hopefully they use the V7 settings, which is the updated uh, pro settings, which were absolutely really, really good. I love those settings. The DMR feels so solid. It is actually amazing settings. I loved it. 
Uh, so I'm throwing that in there as an honorable mention for 2019. I'm hoping it's going to be there, but I'm not going to hold my breath that it is either. You know, so we'll see what happens there. Now, Halo Reach is a definite honorable mention for 2019. I can't wait to find out yes or no, but probably no, but I'm going to hope anyways. And on to my last number one list of 2019 and what I'm looking forward to. And that is going to be Warcraft 3 Reforged. Yes, I am a Warcraft fan. I play World of Warcraft on occasion. I don't play it as often because I got some sort of net issue. Uh, I can't play it. It's so jittery and so laggy. It's just, it's almost unplayable, but it's only on this one. So I think it's, a, it's my card. I think I got to replace my card at some point. But Warcraft 3 is just looks amazing. I've played the original when it came out. Just fantastic story. Really well done. Uh, let you go through the story of Arthas, and it's just so good. I absolutely loved it. Uh, and there is definitely going to be some multiplayer aspects, map editor. Uh, the, all the models are getting updated. It's just going to be something fantastic. If you have not played Warcraft 3, I would highly recommend you picking up Warcraft 3 Reforge uh, before uh, 2019. It says December 2019. I don't think it's going to be December. Uh, it's probably just a placeholder for uh, until they announce when it's actually going to release. I'm thinking more along the lines of October. Uh, that'd probably be closer, maybe even August. Uh, we would actually see a release date for Warcraft 3 Reforged. So that's my picks here for 2019. Now this obviously doesn't include everything. It's just a top five with a couple honorables. And um, I'm just kind of curious, what is not mentioned here, or even if it is mentioned here, what might be your top five what are you looking forward to in 2019 is anthem on your list hmm, maybe what about any fallout games or anything else i, I mean just kind of curious what are you looking forward to in 2019 well that's my thoughts guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already this is the Cray spartan and i am out of here Comment, like, and subscribe.